Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Washington, uh, you've emphasized your time as CEO of the Denver Airport, 20 months. Have you ever flown a plane? Thank you for the question, Senator. No, I have never flown a plane. So you weren't a military pilot or a commercial airline pilot? No, Senator. Uh, have you ever worked for an airline? No, Senator. Uh, have you ever worked as an air traffic controller? No, Senator. You ever worked for a company that manufactures airplanes? No, Senator. You ever worked for a company that fixes airplanes? No, Senator. So for 20 months, you've been char in charge of the Denver airport. Uh, you're in charge of the airport's buildings, correct? Uh, I am in charge of everything that goes on at that airport. Okay, well, I, I'm not sure that's exactly right. You're, you're in charge of parking at the airport, is that correct? How many yes, parking sir. spaces are there at the Denver airport? Uh, thousands. Okay, you're in charge of all the shops and restaurants in the airport. How, how many restaurants are there in the Denver airport? Uh, we have anywhere from 150 to 200 or so. Um, you're in charge of coffee shops and clothing stores and newsstands. Um, you're not in charge of the pilots, are you? Uh, no, Senator. Uh, you're not in charge of the airplane mechanics, are you? No, Senator. You're not in charge of the air traffic controllers, are you? No, Senator. You know, I look at prior FAA administrators. You and I talked a couple of days ago. I, I respect your military so. service. I look at prior FAA administrators. Current acting FAA administrator Billy Nolan was a commercial airline pilot. He worked at multiple airlines and management roles. He has certificates in aviation safety from three different institutions, from the U.S. Army uh, safety, safety Center and the U.S. Naval Postgraduate School. That's un under President Biden. Administrator Steve Dixon, under both Biden and Trump, was an Air Force fighter pilot, a commercial airline pilot, an executive at Delta Airlines, 40 years of aviation experience. Acting Administrator Daniel Yul uh, Elwell was an Air Force combat pilot, a commercial airline pilot, a senior FAA official, and an aviation industry executive. Administrator Rad Randy Babbitt was a commercial airline pilot for 25 years and served as the president of a labor union for pilots. Those are all people who know something about aviation and safety. As I look at your record, I see a record where you've got experience with buses, you've got experience with trains. Buses and trains are very different from planes. My understanding is this administration previously considered you for the board of Amtrak. That could well have been a position you were qualified for, and you might well have received bipartisan support to serve in that role. You know, a lot of discussion, quite rightly, has focused on the horrific crashes of the 737 MAX that took 346 souls from us. Let me ask you, Mr. Washington, what is an angle of attack sensor? The angle of attack sensor is a sensor that is on the front of the plane that controls um, uh, the tilt and the uh, altitude of the plane. And, and, and how, many of, how many of them are there on a 737 MAX? I believe two. And what systems are there if there are contradictory singles, signals from the angle of attack sensor. What systems are they? Yeah. Uh, I would say the MCAS system, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, the MCAS system is responsible for the crashes at issue. What happens when you get a different reading from two different sensors? Uh, can you repeat that question, Senator? What happens when you get a different reading from two different angle of attack sensors? Well, I think human uh, reaction needs to take over if that occurs. So why did that not happen on the Lion Air and Ethiopian Air flights? Well, Senator, I'm not a pilot. I don't know if I can answer that particular question, um, but... Uh, it, Mr. Washington, I, I believe you, huh? but at the end of the day, that's the fundamental problem. For this administration to nominate someone as FAA administrator who can't answer the question, why were 346 people killed in horrific crashes that result in the 737 MAX being grounded for a long time is striking. By the way, Administrator Dixon, after the FAA recertified the 737 MAX, he went and flew it personally. Mm -hmm. Listen, let me be clear, and I, you and I talked about this. 
FAA administrator is a specialized position. I'm not qualified to be FAA administrator. I have no idea how to fly a plane. No one in their right mind would put me in charge of aviation safety because I don't have that experience. I suspect most of the members of this committee are in a similar position. The American people, when they think about aviation safety, when they think about, I played in this committee, a Southwest Airlines and FedEx uh, plane almost colliding in, uh, at Austin's airport. They want an FAA administrator who knows why those planes crash and knows how to fix it to keep them safe. And with all respect, Mr. Washington, it gives no comfort to the flying public that their pilot might be a, a transgendered witch but doesn't actually know how to prevent the plane from crashing into the ground and killing them. I believe your record is woefully lacking. And in fact, you have zero aviation safety experience. And I don't believe you'll have the votes for, for confirmation as you and I visited about earlier this week.